Well, Michael, game week's finally here. I want to get your thoughts. You've put in so much time, effort, patience, perseverance. Now you've finally become the starting quarterback for ASU. What will, what will this game mean to you? I mean, this game means everything to us as a program. I mean, I feel like we deserve this opportunity to play, to go into uh, you know such an incredible environment, play a great SEC opponent, and uh, we we feel we're prepared in Coach Graham's fourth year of, of leading this football team. You know, we know what it means to be smart, disciplined, tough, and go in. And 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 our advantage is that um, you know at Arizona State we we play with discipline. Uh, we're a hard-nosed team. We've been, we've been through adversity every single day of practice, so we're excited to go out there and show these fans uh, what we've been working for since January. Hey, Mike, over here. Um, obviously, uh, there's a big difference in this week one with the caliber of opponent, but obviously also since you're the cemented starter now this week one. Uh, what are some of the biggest differences in preparation this week as opposed to the uh, previous three years? I mean, not much has, not much has, been, um, has been different. I think that... Obviously, our, our, you know the team. The team believes in this team. I think that's what's unique about this group. I think that the people that sit in this team room right now, when Coach Graham comes up here every morning at 7:05 to talk, there's no doubt what our what our our goals are, what our intentions are. So when we go out there at practice, we have an extremely veteran, you know, led group. A lot of leaders that start, a lot of seniors that start, and I think that's what's our uh, that's our advantage right now in our preparation is that we're confident. We have guys that are seeing things versus just reacting them. So playing with your eyes, hands, and feet are something that Coach stresses a lot. We have a lot of guys that are doing that right now on both sides of the ball and special teams. Mike, knowing that you're a thrower before you're a runner, how do you look at the perspective of, of balance of run and pass when you work with Coach Norvell? And I know he wants done things done a certain way, but give me your insight on that. You know, I consider myself a manager. Um, as a quarterback of this football team, we coach calls it a lot of different terms: operator, surgeon, anything that anything that you can do, um, and that involves your you know your arm and your legs. And a lot of the thing, one of the biggest things I've learned with working with Coach Norvell is that when there are opportunity calls to run, that's that's how you can that's how you can make this this offense go. And whatever the, whatever the situation calls for, we have we have an incredible offensive line right now. We have receivers that can make plays and running backs who can block and catch. So it, it's been an exciting camp to see how this offense has 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 been rolling. And uh, as long as we get first downs, this, this offense is exciting, throwing, running, passing, whatever the case may be. I know you've watched a lot of LSU film because of their the coordinator is there at A and M now. Um, what? type of a defense are they and how would you kind of describe their approach and your expectations in that regard I mean they're very uh, you know he's obviously a very confident uh, defensive coordinator they do a lot of the same things um, you know we see we see tendencies and and what they see they're a big you know big man team we're, what we're excited about and you know basically it, it comes down to matchups it comes down to winning one-on-ones that could be at left tackle that could be at you know the right slot receiver that could be the running back in space so what we see on film is we're excited it's been it's been a while we've been watching the same film for since january so it's, it's time to get going on the field but we're excited about our group right now we have a team that's prepared um more than we've ever been and and beyond any talent that we have we have we have intelligence, especially on the offensive side of the ball, and the way Coach Graham runs that defense. You got to be smart to play on this football team. So it's going to be exciting to see how our preparation comes together on Saturday. Uh, Mike, uh, during the Kyle Allen's recruiting process, did you get to know him at all while he was still here locally? And I know you're focusing on the defensive side of the ball, but how have you seen him progress just as a young quarterback coming up the ranks? Um, I didn't really get to know him that well. I know he's a kid from Arizona, obviously a talented kid. Um, I know a lot of, you know, it's unfortunate. You know, you always don't get some all the all the best players in Arizona, but I know he made a good decision where he wanted to go. But I think that our defense is excited about you know playing an opportunity where they have a very athletic group. Um, you don't get you don't get a lot of opportunities like this in college football, especially Arizona State, to, to come out with an opponent like this. It's been four years where we've opened up at home, so it's pretty exciting to go on the road and, and go against a great quarterback, great offensive group, great great program. And this is a this is a statement that we need to make for our program, and we're excited. Mike, where have you shown the the most growth as a quarterback over the last year? You know, th something that Coach Graham talked to me about is that every single day you step on that practice field, you get better. And he says, if I can, if I can continuously get better every single day, this football team will, will achieve the goals that we want to achieve. And I really tried to 
to go out there at fall camp right now, and whether it's encouraging offensive linemen if they go off offsides, whether it's talking to Gump, making sure he knows what he's doing, talking to DJ, making him more of a leader, um, getting in when we're on seven on seven, putting my two cents in those linebackers to get them to talking it up, getting more competitive. I think that's where I've grown the most in, in one year is that this team builds off each other. I've got Jordan Simone telling me, get louder, get, you know, be more of a leader. And I think that's what's exciting about this football team because it's it hasn't been it hasn't been like that in the years past. We've had coaches trying to set the energy and it's completely different right now. When I got a young a young guy like Christian Sam telling me, Step it up, let's go. That that's that's all the difference in the world and that's from coach. Mark, I'm curious to get your observation on, on the young quarterbacks behind you. I, I know how you guys work so closely together, but, but at least give us a brief comment on on Manny Bryce and, and Brady. Oh, I'd love to. Um, those those three kids, they're special. They really are. I've I've taken a certain certain approach to each one of those guys as their development as a backup quarterbacks because they are all so talented and they've come in here at different times. I'm obviously extremely close with Manny Wilkins because he's been here the longest, and what he can do with his feet is so natural. When plays break down, and that's what makes him unique. He's a kid that's still learning. He's still learning. Um, the basic part of football, and that's what makes him such a great football player, is that he can do what he can do, and he has so much more, more room to grow. Brady came in here during the spring. Our heads were turning with, with how much he knew from the offense. And not, someone that comes in for two weeks isn't supposed to know what, he's, what he knew. He's obviously got an incredible arm, incredible feel for moving in the pocket, and he's going to be a pretty dynamic quarterback. And what Bryce did this fall camp was unlike any, any freshman quarterback that I've ever seen come through here. His Detail, his detail-oriented approach every single day when he come out to practice. If Coach Marvell made a change in his stance the next day, you wouldn't have to ask him to change his stance. It, the little things that he that he took from day to day during camp, extremely impressive for a freshman. It's obviously going to be a pretty pretty heated uh, quarterback competition, and in, in the next couple of years. But what's exciting about them is that they all love each other, just like just like just like I love them, and that's and that's why they get better every single day. Mike, you've been very excited about what uh, Gump Hayes provides this offense. Um, we talked about that a lot. Obviously, he's going to be that slot guy in, in two-back formations, but does he have the opportunity to have an expanded role beyond that that we haven't really seen from a guy like that? Absolutely. I mean, what, what you're going to see with Gump is you're going to see him you know, giving defenses what they don't want to look, you know, what, what they don't want to do. You know, make sure you're conditioned when you play against Gump because every single play he's going 100, 150%, it feels like. And he really has that type of motor, which makes him exciting. And, you know, obviously Coach is going to have a pretty, pretty incredible plan for him week to week. But what he does best is the most basic things, getting him, getting him on the perimeter in space. And uh, he's pretty special with the ball in his hands. As a quarterback, you love guys that can take two-yard routes, 95 yards. And uh, so does offensive line. But, you know, I, when, I, when I come in here Mondays, I'm just as excited as everybody else is what, what the plan is for number one. Uh, Mike, can you talk a little bit about uh, your confidence level in the offensive line, specifically uh, Evan Goodman protecting your uh, blind side? Oh, yeah. I mean, our, our three interior guys, Nick, V, and Christian, obviously are the three guys returning, and, and we talked about it today. We, those are the best three guys in the entire country as a, as a core inside group. And what Evan Goodman and Billy McGee have been able to do this entire, from starting from spring and moving on to fall camp has been amazing. They're the two most athletic tackles that I've ever seen since I've been here. And I've got the utmost confidence in both of those guys, especially going against the opponent that we have game one. There's no better way. They, they, these, these, these tackles, they're not young tackles. We've got Richard Jr. and Richard Sr. So they've got experience. Um, they're, they're really excited about the opponent coming into game one. And what Evan has done um, as far as, a, as a athletic position at that left tackle is pretty amazing. Um, what, he's going to be a guy that you hope stays back for his uh, fifth year because he's that type of talent. Mike, in the grand scheme of the college football landscape and the playoff system, and how high the expectations are here, would you say right out of the gate, and a lot of can change the course of a college football season, but to start the season game one, is this a must win for the program to, to get the season going in the right direction? Every, everyone's a must win. Here and you can see on the walls it says one and zero, and it says national championship. That's that's our mindset every single day. So whether it be January and it's it's your final set of power clean, if you don't win that rep, it's an issue. If you play at Arizona State, so we don't we wouldn't say it's a must win. It's just an opportunity for us to go one and zero. Whether it's pregame when we go out there in pregame, we're going to go one and zero in the pregame. 
that coin toss, one and on the coin toss, and so on, so on, so on. So what, what we have to do is we have to control ourselves, and that's what Coach Graham has done an amazing job of establishing that mindset, is that the only people that are going to stop Arizona State is us. And we really believe that. We have that type of capability on, on all three phases of the game. And uh, it's, not, it's not a must win. It's just another Saturday. It's just another Saturday to be in Sun Devil uniform. Mike, for a lot of your career, you guys have been kind of the program that's been kind of on its way up. But now a lot of people are picking you guys uh, to possibly win the Pac-12, uh, make a playoff run. In, in some ways, you're the hunted now. How does does that feel any different at all going into this season? We've had a we've had a lot of people come up to us and talk to us throughout the throughout the you know uh, whether it be spring ball, fall camp, motivated people. We've had leadership meetings where we're excited and we know we, what the capability of this football team is, and that's why we created that mindset of going one or no, where we're control, what we can control is our attitude and effort every single day to beat Texas A&M on Saturday. And obviously there are great accolades that are coming out about this football team, but we're not really worried about that. I think what's awesome is that the mindset that we have going into big games like this is that we feel we're ready to take on this game. It's not, it's not a situation where, oh, whatever the case is, it was a good game. We know what we have to do going into Saturday. We have that type of mindset. We feel that we are going to be the aggressor on every single play. That's what's exciting. And as week 9, 10, 11 come around, it's only going to get harder and harder as there's more distractions. But we feel that we have a, like I keep saying, we have a senior-led group, veteran group, where you know we, we can help these young guys about when you're when you're sitting there, you know, in a, in a great situation, just keep your head down and just go one or no. Parker, what, what's your thoughts of basically playing this game in their backyard? They say it's a neutral site game, but let's yeah. be for real, it's not a neutral site game. Yeah, I mean, I I think what I've learned about being in college football is that that's that's what you play for. Is that you know, there's there's no there's no uh, greater environment than than walking out of the tunnel getting booed or whatever the case may be. That that's what you love. That's what you signed up for. And uh, obviously, it's going to be it's going to be incredible environment being at the Texan Stadium, which we're excited about, and we know that Sun Devil Nation is going to show out, and that all you got to see is a little maroon and gold, and that'll get you more fired up than any than anything before game day. And uh, whatever the, whatever the whatever the situation is, if we're overpowered by fans, it doesn't matter. We know that Sun Devil Nation is there, and that's all we need, just to go one and zero on that day. Yeah, I mean, it's been great. It's been great for our program. It's been great for recruiting. It's been great for just this senior-led group, just knowing that um, I've, I guess you can say I've been, been in the highs and lows of what a football game is. And, and it just, it's just been a blessing to me since, you know, since January, the, the way the team has been able to rally behind me as a quarterback, of, as a captain of this football team. I just, I, I mean, I've been, been here a long time, and just the type of respect that I've been, been able to get, it's only right for me to give that respect to every single person, whether it be janitors in this building or, what, or, or it be Coach Graham. That's the approach that I've been able to take since January. And we, we as a team, it, it's, been, it's been pretty special to see what this 2015 team has been able to accomplish on, off the field, in the community. And it's just been exciting to know that, that last year we scratched the surface of something, something that could be amazing this year.